One of the things that I'm most focused on in the work that I do here is trying to bridge that gap now that students have with the natural world. As we become more technologically savvy, we've lost that connection and that broken connection results in often a lot of problems, both with how we address environmental issues and also our own well-being. So one of the things that I have developed here with my colleague Morgan Wilson is we take students every January to the Caribbean to do research in marine environments and the students that are engaged in this project will actually study a number of different species. In fact, they have to learn over 200 species of marine fish and invertebrates before they leave. And then when we're in that environment, we're actually gathering data on organisms in this ecosystem that are being impacted by climate change and most recently by two very significant hurricanes. So our students are able to gather data that has a lot of meaning for our understanding and how our world is going to respond to changes that are happening because of climate change. And in the process, they develop these very deep connections with the natural world, which makes the world a much richer, brighter, and more curious space for them to be in.